Good morning. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm still sleeping. You, you, you look good for <laughs> just woke up. I almost did not show up. I'm like, ah, please let me call these people and tell them, please, I'm not coming. <laughs> so what were your three possible excuses for not coming? Wait, wait, wait. Is um, your... Is, because uh, I'm hearing feedback from uh, you. No, no, we're good. We're sorted. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, my first one would be, I'm fluey. I, I can't come through. When was the last time you used that? I'm fluey. Uh, um, oh, long time ago. Uh -huh. It never really works because people don't buy it. Does baby have a headache? Does that work? Because it's never been used on me. So I just, I'm asking for a friend if uh, those excuses whoop. work. <laughs> yeah, man. There's an excuse that you look at and you think, no, people are not going to buy it. Yeah. So it needs to be more strong. It needs to be stronger and more convincing. Mm. So I thought, um, maybe let me just tell offense what I, it's just not working out. <laughs> <laughs> but you're here. That's what matters. <coughs> Yeah, I am here. Very happy to be here. The last time I interviewed you was 2005. Wow. That's like a... It, it feels like start, a reunion. 12 years, yeah, at yeah. the start. Yeah. It feels like a reunion over yeah. the radio station, oh, yeah. doesn't it? Oh, yeah. In fact, <laughs> now that I think about it, you were a virgin then. Uh, uh, we are not going to... No, we're not there, going there because... But I'm just like, yeah. Are you still a virgin? <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> after two kids, <laughs> how was it? Aeroplane, yeah, <laughs> or, the, or the Holy Spirit, guys. <coughs> no, it's too early. Uh, you're yeah, a child of God, you know how these things sometimes happen. And also, Jay, maybe I pulled a, a Mary, you know, Do you I, know, hashtag asking for a friend. Were you a virgin? I'm not going to answer that eh? because simply because I'm not here for that. And what's in the past must remain in the past. I'm in the present. I'm very happy with my present. You know that if we leave everything in the past, all we can talk about is what's going to happen in the next minute. Yeah, as cool I'm going to say in Zagalani in the next minute. So what's, what's happening in the next minute? I have no idea. Exactly. <laughs> now, you're a mother of two. And normally, this time of uh, the show, we, we talk about people and living healthy, eating healthy, exercising. Yeah. A lot of mothers probably hate you because you have two kids and you look the way you do. Mm. Is it genes or do you consciously make sure you look I good? don't look as good as I used to look, to be quite honest. Yeah. We were talking about it in Oso Mizi. Mm. I have a muffin top now. <laughs> and I'm going to muffin top. Okay, what's, what's a muffin top? It's that little... It's, yes, oh, it's, yes. Okay. it's pecheche. Yes, it's pecheche. So, it's pecheche. So, why should they hate me in a pecheche? But the I don't is. have the no six because your spechete is look, still looks proper when you're wearing tight clothes. If is spechete sako, ne spechete sam are two different things. I don't know. Can Mira we is stop specheting and compare them? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm just saying to her that's why we don't like you because when is spechete sako is still. Yeah, but I'm, a, I'm from a, a family. Uh, mm. uh -huh. My mother's very small. Mm. Sure. So even in here, almost 60s, she still looks like 40. Mm. Mm. So it, it's probably the genes. Do you eat clean or do you eat what the hell you want? <laughs> hey, I'm going to bamba for three months. <laughs> <laughs> It's never easy. It's never easy. I tried it for three months, yeah. and I realized, good, I'm torturing myself because all the food that I'm supposed to, that is supposedly the right food, it's not the nice food. Minang mm, mm. funi at some point. Minang funa greasy. I want McDonald's. I want all the greasy stuff, and I wake up and eat at twelve midnight. Mm. And apparently, if you're supposed to be a health person, more seven pilling our humble no, you can eat uh, like fruits and veggies and stuff. Yeah, you but just that's need... not what I want to eat. Guys, at four in the morning, I want a pie. I don't want a fruit. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with you? Have you ever seen anyone leaving a club and saying, I need a banana and an I apple. need a celery. Exactly my point. I mean, when you leave the club, all, all, all get McDonald's. Mm. you don't want to go to Woolies and get the fruits and all that. I mean, it's not appetizing at 3 a.m. in the morning. Now, you have this confidence about sexuality and your body. Who, me? Yes. Mm, ah, we see that. it in all your pictures, what you wear, the awards and stuff. What's your take on nudity, especially on social media? Even on the red carpet. Nowadays, the red carpet, actually, My there's man. more carpet than clothing. My man. <laughs> hey, I don't know, hey. Uh, to be quite honest, Mina, I dress according to how I feel for the day or for that particular event. Mm. So I don't go there thinking, oh, I want to be naked. No. Sure. I mean, have you seen my last dress? I was very, I was far from being naked. You, in fact, you were probably the most dressed the last time. Oh, yes. exactly. My point. Point. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Else on us. It's like, oh, I'm not using that. <laughs> Add it to my dress. <laughs> 
mean, for me, I don't go out there wanting to show off. I sure. just do what I feel. I just do me. So mm. it's never about, oh, I'm so confident. In fact, I'm very far from being confident. You should see me at my photo shoots. I struggle to pose sexy because that's not who I am. Mm. I'm, I just put on and go. So for me, being sexy is not something that I go for. So you never look in the mirror on some ish girl, slay age. No, I just dress up and, and get out of the house. I not think. that dress though. Huh? That that summer dress. Which yeah. one? Oh, the yeah, the, yeah. yeah. This yeah, the, the gown. That, yeah. That, Which one? The big one. Oh, that one. Let me tell you about that dress. Mm. I didn't even know I was gonna have such a big dress. All my designer said was prepare a truck for your boxes. That's all I knew. Mm -hmm. So when it arrives, I'm like, dude, I see what's in there. I'm like, oh my God, how the hell am I going to carry all of this? And it's like, you're going to have to work it, honey. And that's how you've and got you good did. legs now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> legs done for the year. We're hanging out with Kelly Kumalo. It is famous Fresh Fridays. Any questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you. You can WhatsApp us on 0815773333. We're also taking SMSs on that number. Or use the hashtag Fresh Breakfast. Right now, the Comedy Minute. Here's Chelsea. Hasinna. It wasn't me. Shaggy, we see you. <laughs> the Africa Soul Remix. It's 11 minutes after 6, Famous Fresh Fridays. Kelly's in the building. How are you feeling? I'm happy. Yeah? I'm in a very good space, I will not lie. Tell us about that space. Um, It's when you've accepted your truth and who you are. Yeah. And for me, I'm very comfortable in who I am as a woman, as an individual, and where I am in life. So I'm not, uh, I'm not under pressure to be anything or to do anything. I'm just in my own level, and I'm very happy to be there. Now, you've been in the papers, in the tabloids, in when the When was the last time you saw radio. me there? I'm suing them. If they are listening, I'm coming for you. You what? <laughs> no, no, um, sorry, don't use that word in front of me. No. <laughs> How could you going to sue? <laughs> They must sue your script writers. You. Or you must stick to the script. Oh, no, that's the problem. No, mm -hmm. but the thing is, my sister even said, Oh, we are sue you are oh, so means. But I was looking at the auto cue. Yeah, thank you, my friend. So, how is that possible? We were all there and we saw. Anyway. I'm not going to be part of that because mm. so, um, a week ago. Two lawsuits are better than one. So you guys can be together there. Mm -mm. Yeah, and no? then you can do a collective response. Exactly. And then do a song. <laughs> <get> choreographed. <laughs> you see. Commercial. Exactly. Okay. Guys. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Remember, you can call NetBank. Ah. We can bank all your money in there. <laughs> and eh? call all these other things. Street size. Ne? <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So, based on all of everything you've been through, yeah. what do you wish people knew about Kelly? That it's they what they don't? know now. Because, because sometimes we make assumptions about people. Yes, mm -hmm. we always do. And, and, and more often than not, we're wrong. Yes. What do you wish people knew about you? That you, um, you want to get off your chest right now? It's not even about... I mean, I never want to rectify. I love to keep to myself. I mean, the real me is only for the special people in my life. I mean, Boso Mizi, they know who I really am. My family knows, and I'm content with that. Mm. So I never want to try and rectify certain things as if I feel... They are... I mean, what you say about me mm. is who you see, who you think I am. Mm. It doesn't necessarily mean I am that person. So for me, what I would like to be known for is my music, nothing else. Mm. Yeah. But you know, everything else will follow you because it always because does. You, if you do the music well, everything follows. If you suck, <laughs> <laughs> no one cares. No one cares. If you're a bim beast, uh, we wouldn't care. <laughs> but also, I think for me, um, when things happen to you, is for you to learn and also to be a better person, to build a better character in yourself, mm. and also from other people to learn from your mistakes and all that. So mm. it had to happen. Now you've spoken about your dark days, battles with drugs. Yeah. What would you say was your lowest point? Oh my. I remember I had planned to 
go do groceries with my son. Mm. I got so high, and 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 I thought Sorry, I was. It's not a laughing oh, No, <laughs> in fact, your mic is off. I think he's high right now. This guy. <laughs> no, I think the lowest point was when I had planned to go do groceries, and my mm. son was with me. But I got so high. I, I was just standing in one place. In my mind, I, I'm, I'm thinking I'm at the mall already. I'm driving already. Mm. <laughs> no, four, four hours so late. So, get out of the room. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> but you know what she's saying, man? It reminds me of the fact that I think it's ways. When you arrive at your destination, it tells you to please check in the car <laughs> for your kids and belongings no. and whatnot. Like, like, so, so it happened. <laughs> Four that... hours later, I'm still in my living room. My son is there playing <laughs> and my sister is in, is in her bedroom and all that. And I'm like, why am I not at the mall? Because I thought I'm moving. I'm in the car and I'm driving. And I was still in one place. And mm. I kept asking my sister the same question over and over. And for me, it felt like I was losing my mind. I was like, no, Kelly, this, this is it. What were you high on? Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I was forever high on um what is it called? I even forgot the name. Um it's got morphine, I think. Mm. Cocaine. Okay. Yeah. Do you remember the first time you did cocaine? Like where you I were? Do. The, what, what like what was it that said try this? You know what it is, but you know. I mean, people always came to my house and uh, they would do this thing in front of me. They'd mm. offer me, I'd refuse. But one day I was like, no, man, let me try it. What's the worst that could happen? You know? Yeah, what, what could happen? And I didn't feel anything because I did not know what to expect. Mm. But all I remember is that I became so talkative. I was just, just willing to say anything and whatever at that mm. particular time. Do we have coke here, guys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no way. I've been five years clean and I'm not going back you, you, there. You know, you know, fresh. You know why I'm laughing. Yeah. I think for me, to laugh at her, I, 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 I'm allowed to because yeah. uh, I've seen her go through that. Yeah. And and if it was a different guest, I wasn't gonna laugh because it's it's very sensitive. It's sensitive. Yeah. Yeah. And blah blah. So I laughed because I'm thinking. I remember even the time when you came to my I'll place. Come to me, uh, come to your house and ask for money. You know. So, <laughs> so and then one at one point I said, No, you're not leaving. I'm cooking. You eating. And this is it, you know. And then he says to me, "I'm not giving you the petrol. I'm, and I'm actually giving you three hundred to make sure that you get that petrol and go home." Yes. Yeah. And 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 that's when I when I when you realize, that, um, Kelly is a perfect example of you can only be helped if you want to. When be helped. you're ready, yeah. yeah mm. If yeah. you want to, it was uh, that day I realized. That, no, she needs. To, she wants to be helped. Mm. You know, it's, it's not like a a, a trying to to trick me and stuff yeah. like mm. that so i'm laughing because of that like i'm thinking mm. imagine I've, I, I don't know what it feels like mm. so standing there for like four hours, four hours in later. your head there's still people there's home alone <laughs> 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 for four hours you're like Hi, Chuck Norris. you're looking for Paki. <laughs> <laughs> you've got a trolley you are indicating in traffic <laughs> You're at Woolies, it's cold. <laughs> Have you seen those videos where this stands still in the video? Everything else is everything moving. Is moving. Yes, yeah, that's yeah. exactly what was happening wow. to me. Mm. That's when I knew that was it. Did you ever make any decisions you look back at and you're like, it's because I was high and maybe I would have made a better decision had I not been high? Um, I think so. I mean, I stayed in a very abusive relationship simply mm. because I was forever high. And for me, the abuse was okay. Mm. Because I mean, were you, I had... Were you both high? Yes, all the time. Mm. And, and, and for me, it was, I'm with the person that I'm able to share this addiction with. Mm. So why be elsewhere while I can be here and continue with my addiction? Mm. So I stayed in, in a very... A toxic relationship simply because I wanted to continue dragging. I was also addicted to the relationship. While else, if I was sober, I mm. wouldn't have stayed. Okay, ask him for a friend. Yeah. Is it true though that the earth moves when you're high? How so? No, no, as in when the two of you get together. I'm oh, doing know. the dance. I don't even want to. <laughs> no, yeah. no, 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 no. Uh, for me, I don't even want to remember anything that represented that life. Sure. Mm. I'm so over it. I'm five years clean. Mm. Well done. Um, and I have no relationship whatsoever with 
that person that mm. I would not that is not even worth mentioning sure. so for me I don't even want to remember anything mm. the only thing that's beautiful that came out of that relationship is my beautiful boy mm. that's it looking at your boy now do you ever sit sometimes and say I could have done something to this child in my high state and not even have known and I am so funny. grateful nothing happened yes I am very much grateful and funny enough I was so overprotective yeah. of him. So what it does, when you high, it actually um, it enhances who you already are. Uh -huh. So if you are smart, you become smarter. If you are a compassionate... Hey, don't person, sell it. No, 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 I'm not selling it. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm te take it at your own risk. Yeah. But when it goes down, it goes down with you. That's the reality of it. Mm. So if you are a compassionate person, you become even more compassionate. Mm. So I would be so overprotective of my son. Mm. In any case, I ended up having to take my son to my mom's because I was like, you know what? I'm out of control. Mm. And the only safe place for my son is where my mom is, is where my family is. Mm. There's someone out there who has a drug habit right now that is feeling like I'm in a hole and I can't get out of this hole. Is there something you can share that you feel might have been what helped you start digging out of that hole? Yeah, coming out. Mm. You have to come out. Because the addiction... So stop denying it. Stop denying it. Okay. Accept the fact that you have a problem. And also mm. because it starts as a fun thing. And then it becomes a sickness mm. when you rely on it. Your body wants it. Sure. You can't do, you can't, you become dysfunctional mm. without it. So for me, I've learned that it thrives in secrecy. Mm. So if you hide it, you will continue to do it. Come out with it. Let your family know that you are, you have a problem. Let your surroundings know that you have a problem so that they help you to come out of it. And also mm. you feel guilty when people know that you are on that thing. So mm. once you are high, you start thinking, or oh, fresh in Yeah, bayang born. So come out with it. It's the first step. It's 21 minutes after six famous Fresh Fridays. Kelly Kumalo is in the building. Yeah. 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 In the good old days, we play it again. Huh? We play it again. Because it if be... it's nice, you play it twice. Play it twice. But it must remind them. Listen, tape. <laughs> <laughs> you must only hear it here. I'm telling you, listen, tape. <laughs> 642, this is Fresh Breakfast on Metro FM. Kelly Kumalo is our guest. Famous Fresh Fridays. We want to find out some of Kelly's firsts. First one. Your first love. Who's your first love? Do you remember your first love? Um, let me. I, I look back and yeah. I, now that I'm older and wiser, yeah. I don't think um, I've ever been in love the way that I wish to be. Heaven. So. <laughs> No, seriously, it's no always love. been about who's around, who's giving me attention. Sure. Mm. And it has never really been about love, just mm. being in love with that particular person. And I, I, I'm yet to meet that person. Your first crush? Oh, he was Benny McCarthy. Wow. For real? Mm. Yes. He wasn't. I remember. Ah. So, no, when eh? he started playing for Bafana Bafana. Like, I'd like to just put gel in that hair. No, it's him. not even about that. I was just fascinated about how amazing he was as yeah. a soccer player. No, he was a legend. Mm -hmm. He was amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. Your first kiss? Yo. Who was it? Mkharin. Mkharin. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he got the lyric. <laughs> Because he had just kissed Kim. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I think it was my high school bo boyfriend. Yeah, does he have a name or? No, he's not worth mentioning. <laughs> How? 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 What, where was it? How much oh was it? Oh my God, I remember it was a thousand rands. What did you do for a thousand rands? I was booked to go perform in Swaziland. It was just transport money because they did not know who I was mm. and they were just trying to give me a platform to promote myself. So they gave us a thousand bucks to come through. The song you feel changed your life? The first song that you feel changed Mary, everything. Mary. Yeah. Oh, no, yes, it was Mary, Mary. I just can't give up now. Yeah. I've come too far. What, what, about, what about that song? Uh, for me, it motivates me to just not give up because, I mean, I, I don't think that God would bring me this far to just leave me in the middle True. of it all. Mm. So that song motivates. It's the song in sure. my life, yeah. Your first car? Uh, it was an MR2. Toyota <laughs> MR2. Yeah, it could be like oh, yes, I remember it. <laughs> <laughs> I was not forgetting that day. Why are you laughing at Kelly's MR2? How? Why <laughs> No, it's... 
Yo, that cow, it, I, I, it looked like a... It was unbelievable. Yeah, it looked like a mouse, complete yeah. mouse. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 used, I used to laugh at it until I needed it. Yeah. <laughs> I remember calling Kelly. Yeah. I, I, there was a, an accident that happened, and I needed to be taken to a police station. Yeah. And, and then called Kelly. Kelly came there. Still, when she arrived, like, no, oh, Nile Mort. <laughs> <laughs> and then you turned that. <laughs> I can't believe I actually drove Your that. first heartbreak? Um, when was this? When a boy just j- dumped me for no reason, he said I had an attitude. He said I was rude. Yeah, but like, I don't believe. Yes, he said, you are rude, Gabi. When I asked you, are one of those women in when I would was on Genage office in Unchele in Dabazami, Paratuama CEO, Michele meeting in a serious. So therefore, I, we can't anymore. I'm like, really? Yeah. So that's it. I think he was, he had found somebody. So Uburud Bami just became. An, an excuse, mm. yeah, an excuse to. Do you think you're? Me. Do you think you're rude? At that time, um, not necessarily rude. I'm, I, I'm, I'm too honest. Mm, mm. I call a spade a spade, sure. and some people. Uh, see it as being rude. I mm. so I so I Whether I always tell it like it is. Now, one thing that fascinates me is how you've managed to keep almost this joyful nature about you despite all the drama all the heartache all the loss all that you've been through yeah where do you get that from and is it genuine or is it, it is a facade so, are it you is fooling so. all of us <laughs> <laughs> the thing is is that i can't fool all of you for as long as i've managed to mm. i mean it's 13 years in the industry mm. i mean at some point i have got to crack mm. people need i mean at some point people will see me for who i really am True. like i am genuinely a a happy person and i forgive very quickly and i move on very quickly but more than anything i'm very positive mm. i thrive in positivity sure. so anything that is not positive will never be part of who i am mm. hence i'm able to bounce back simply because i'm so big in positivity mm. is moving on quickly good and when do you know that you actually over something because sometimes moving on quickly is just glossing over it yeah but you haven't, yeah. Really, but you haven't really yeah. dealt with it how do you know that you've dealt with something that you can now move on um i it, it's a process i think mm. and for me I'm, I'm i mean i've realized that i detach very quickly from things that don't build me like i said before i'm a very positive person so if it's not positive for me as as maybe as comfortable as amazing as it would be mm. but i just choose to protect me more than anything sure. and then I, I move on gradually but i detach very easily mm. yeah 648 kelly kumalo is in the building right now we have the comedy minute with chelsea handler the fresh breakfast comedy minute people are so annoying are people who have babies and then talk in months like they talk in baby talk and they'll ask i say oh how old's your son and he's like oh seven eight two months <laughs> I'm like, six? Is he set? Is he eight? What is 72? You can't talk like that. Can you imagine being a grown-up at a bar, meeting a guy and being like, ha, 418 months. Come and get it. The Fresh Breakfast Comedy Minute. Friends that you are doing drugs with once you are clean. Yes, absolutely. How, how did you manage the friendship? Um, I was very clear to my uh, drugging friends that I will not mention because, I mean, really, I would not do that. Mm. Um, I was very clear. But it's either you get clean with me or we just part ways because I'm funuk don't sell move. At the end of the day, I've made a decision which I think is very important in my life. I'm a mother and I love my music more than anything. But more than anything, I'd love to stay clean and focus on my life, mm. on rebuilding my life. So I had to part ways with a lot of people. Another one on WhatsApp. Um, I'm glad that you are done with drugs. Uh, well done, Kelly. I'd Thank like to you. know how did you deal with the public being horrible to you after Senzo's death? and also the family being mean to you? Um, the thing is when you know who you are 
and when you know your truth mm. you are never bothered by what people say yes it's hurtful things because you're thinking i don't deserve that as much as you have lost someone i have also lost someone who's very important and who was very important in my life and who's a father to my daughter and i don't deserve all of that but i had to understand good to people will be people they when there's no one to blame they will try and find someone to blame what would you like to say to people who speculate about yourself in Senzo? Um, I had the best time of my life with that man. Mm. And I had one person that I could safely say lo really loved me because I could tell. I mean, it was not about having to tell me that he loves me, but he showed me that he loved me. Mm. And anything beyond that, I'm not interested. I will have forever hang on to that love. And that's it. How did you guys meet? We met through a friend mm. and uh, in fact, it was a phone, a telephone conversation. And from there onwards, we went on dates and all and, 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 and everything else was like history. Mm. Yeah. Now, just thinking back to the day that we all lost him, like how, how does it make you feel? Because I think it's easy for us to talk about it and speculate about it, Dude, but um, you were there. I will never forget that switch and i would never wish that switch on anyone even on my worst enemy i don't wish that on anyone mm. because one minute we were at the top of the mountain mm. with happiness and the next i was at the bottom of the sea where i was buried by anything and everything i was literally i i i, I feel like i died there with him at that mm. particular time because it's like i oh, being happy five minutes ago mm. and the next minute the person that i love the most is gone mm. and i'm not just dealing with the loss and the switch I'm dealing with the entire country who's bombarding me with a whole lot of things that I'm not responsible for. Mm. That day, I mean, it's one of the days that I will never forget in my life. Have you healed from it? I will never. Mm. I, it's, it's a process. And I don't think I'll safely say I've healed. Mm. Because I've got questions I'm like, what happened? Why would anyone do such a horrible thing? Why, I mean, I feel like I feel so robbed mm. because there's certain things I'll never have answers to. And I would never be at the place where I feel like I've healed. I look at my daughter, I'm like, you don't deserve this. Mm. You also wanted to have your father around. And, 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 and she will never have that. Mm. To even hear his voice or to even have him walk her to school or drive her to school. She was robbed of that. It's painful to watch her growing up without her father. Now, you said to Cizwe on MTV that you felt the relationship was a waste of your time. Do you still feel that? Um, I think I have moments. And like I say, it's a gradual thing. One minute you hate the relationship. One minute you embrace the relationship. One minute you hate yourself for having been in that relationship. Mm. The next minute you embrace the fact that you were part of that. Mm. So I go th different stages. Mm. It just depends on how I feel for that particular day. Mm. Sure. Now, you had a physical altercation with his wife. Yeah. And how do you guys relate right now? Like I said, I, I detach from things that don't build me very mm. quickly. So for me, that life does not exist mm. anymore. The only thing that I'm left with is my daughter. Would you ever consider I don't a cordial think, relationship I, with her? I don't Why not? think so. I am not that person. I, I think you'd both benefit from it more than not, to tell you the honest truth. Um, a friend of mine uh, suggested that. Mm. I'm not that person. Once I move on, I close the door and I move on. I am that person. Mm. I just don't see myself. I don't see how it would benefit me. I've never known that person before. I've gotten to know that person due to mm. uh, um, Senzo. He's gone. There's mm. nothing keeping me there. Mm. 701, uh, apologies for news being late. We're hanging out with Kelly Kumalo. It is famous Fresh Fridays. Conversations do you hope to have with them about their fathers? Um, oh, it's a very tough one. Mm. It's a very tough one. I mean, the Senzo one is very different. I mean, Senzo was a present father at mm. any given point. He was there for his daughter. In fact, for both my kids. Mm. And they, he's the only person that they remember as a father if they had to remember someone. Mm. So, 
I mean, one day I'd love to really sit down and really tell them about him. And I, I think I, my son will also love to know about his father outside of the bad relationship that me and him had. And I, I, I don't know what to say because I have nothing good to say about that person. Mm. So that's a very tough one. How do you tell a seven-year-old that this is what I went through mm. with your father? Because I'd like to paint a perfect picture, picture for him, but it's not there. Mm. Can, can, can I ask uh, something? Like, don't you want to, like, because looking at the father of um, your, your firstborn, yeah. right? He might have made his mistakes as well, changed his life, I'm just saying, and then in the future become the father that he could have been then. I don't, don't you know. Don't you think there'll be a time where you, you now have something good to say and not depriving him of of having a relationship with I the father. I don't want to deprive. I want him when he's old enough mm. to decide whether he wants a relationship with him or not. Mm. But at this particular time, mm. it's my duty as a mother to f to protect my son from mm. that person. Mm. I don't know who he is now and I don't wish to know who he is now. But based on what I know of him, I would like to protect my son okay. from that person. Okay. Having said that, <clears throat> wouldn't you also think that it is worthy of giving the father an opportunity to show you whether he would like that. So that in future, when your child is old enough, can say, he tried, he let me down, fine, and then you protected me. I think me. he can start that relationship when my son is 18. For oh. now, I have shut that door. Okay. The man that I know is not deserving of raising a son of mine. I would not want, I want... I'm not saying I'm perfect. Mm. I'm far from being perfect, but I'm trying my best to raise an honorable man out of that boy. Mm. Mm. So you don't think people change? People do change. Mm. And I'm sure he has, but for himself, not for me. 15 minutes after seven, we're hanging out with Kelly Kumalo. The question is, is she smarter than a primary school kid? Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> No are way. you smarter than a primary school kid? Hello, Apumelele. How are you doing? Fine. We are fine, thank you. How old are you, my baby? I'm six years old. You're six? She's yes. You sound very clever. Are you clever? She's younger than my son. Yes. Okay, we're hanging out with Aunt Kelly. What's your first question for her? How much does a, how much does a circle size have? A circle size? How many sides does her? Zero. Oh, shame. I didn't <laughs> get the question. <laughs> okay, what's your next question, Apumele? <laughs> you know, this reminds me of someone. <laughs> My next question is, how much does... How, what is the color of the two... What, what is the color of the tiger, the two colors? What is the... What is the it's uh, brown and... It's, it's, it's brown and... It's gold and black. Is it, I almost said brown. It's gold and black. It, it, it's yellow and black. But oh, I, yeah. I, it's the same thing. It's the really? same thing. Isn't yeah. it gold? Mm. What's your what last... What is the capital letter of Sifka? Of what? What is the capital city of Sifka? Sifka, I, of Sifka, Sifka I have no idea. Of what? Sifka. 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 The former Sifka. Oh. What is the what, what, oh the former capital of Siskai? I have no idea. Is it not Bisho? It's Bisho. Yay! Yay! <laughs> it's Bisho. Guys, there's yeah. something in that big head, eh? Yes. yes. Uh, there's a listening in or something. <laughs> Hold up. So you are six years old. I want to I wanna say hi to my dad, Mr. Sivuta, oh, sure. and on, also no, no. my mom, Mr. Mrs. Kai Gazi, and also my little brother, no. Manja, and also no, all my friends. No. Oh, sweet. You are so cute. If you need an extra uncle, I'm here, ne? Yes. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye, baby. <laughs> oh. Wow. Do this again on Monday. Are you smarter than a primary school kid? So I'm going to give Kelly the tiger one, right? Because some tigers yes. are called. Yes. No? Yes. Are yeah. they yellow though? No, at it's six years yet. old, gold is yellow. Yes. Yes. At six. Yeah. Yes. Yes. yes, at six years old is right. Okay. It's exactly. Like, it's not yellow because no. yellow. Hi, guys. guys She's it, correct. It's, it's a six year old. It's, it's yellow. yellow. Okay. Yeah. If a six year old says, I saw a pig flying, guys, we also a pig there flying. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
Anyway, Mercer's extreme desktop mini PCs deliver exceptional value with uncompromising performance, security, and manageability. With Microsoft Office 2016, do your best work anywhere, anytime, and with anyone. Office 2016 and Windows 10 Pro is now supported by Mercer's extreme desktop mini PC. All the computing power you need in a stylish design barely noticeable on a desktop or shelf. The desktop mini PCs ensure low total cost of ownership. They are small in form, big on performance. Available now at shop. Dot .mercer.co.za dot dot Start exercise Traffic is brought What are your memories of uh, those days? 2005, 2006 I'm black. not being funny How? Red and black um, So much traveling Yes And so what? much money And I didn't even know what to do with it Because I was younger and but more than anything, I was just having the best time of my life. I, I was in my early twenties, so yes. I mean that was the best moment for now. Where you can't, you have so much money at twenty-two, mm. and you are traveling the world, and you're just having a good time. With your whole crew of other. Amajiichi. Yes, I, there was fourteen of us. <laughs> so did you do like? Sorry, did you do like get up or go over to do like a vision test? To make sure that you're all... No, obviously like, I did not do that. I'm asking, Pella. We don't know how these things go. <laughs> I know. I, I, did, I'm I go- did. What? <laughs> you test. did what? <laughs> the test. And you know that they're not <laughs> <laughs> accurate if you were... <laughs> We're not going to ask what you were testing. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't want to talk about this, but I remember a time when... Um, you are proposed to on all you need is love. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, we are not going to. By the hang. What's that say? Hang in a man. What's it? Park. What's that say? Hang in a man. Hi, guys. I'm not going to talk about that. Tell us about Let's the proposal. Just say it was just one of those things and we go through as young people yeah. and we would like to forget. Did you say yes because you're on camera? I had to say yes. I was not going to let him down like that. Not even the, uh, seeing that small ring. <laughs> yeah, I should. Because okay. I had a big TV, but I was like, that's a very small TV. Was it a lucky pocket ring? I was like, how puck? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> was pucking around. No, guys, it was the sweet thing, and let's leave it at it that. It worked, though. It worked. For TV. It? For TV. For TV. It worked. It worked. It was beautiful. Cute. And, and then we've never had like a celebrity being proposed on national TV. So now being in a moment, you propose you on international <laughs> TV. I'll take that to the grave. So guys, I mean, let's leave it in the past. We it was are. sweet. So, so if, if, if you had to give advice to a young up and coming musicians, because we don't have to repeat mistakes, yes. right? If you have to give advice to your babes, to a rouge, to any young female thriving successful uh, artist, what would that Don't be, be taken by the hype. Mm. At the end of the day, if this is your calling and this is a business to you, treat it like a business that it's supposed to be. Stay grounded. Because we you know, somehow we get so big-headed, we forget where we come from. We forget to continue building. Mm. Because it's a business. It has to... I mean, 13 years later, I'm still here. Mm. Simply because, yes, I've made my mistakes, but I stayed true to the craft and respected the craft. Mm. 7.30, Angie Kumalo has your headlines and Poma Boy has first half of sport <laughs> and then DJ Kent takes us into the weekend. This-